Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 44849, Class Alpha, Year 2014, State, Alabama. Observed. Was driving home at night about 9 p.m. Turned on Bone Camp Road from Highway 171 and saw a large figure standing in the brush. As I turned on my brights, it had taken off in the brush. This is the second time I've seen this thing, and a friend of mine who lives on Bone Camp has also seen it as well as finding strange tree formations and randomly snapped limbs. Also notice twisted limbs and tree branch formations near the spot. I saw it standing, took photos of branches and formations. Other witnesses, not at that moment. Saw it four years earlier crossing Bone Camp with my mother. Other stories, friend of mine was pulling up to his house at night and saw a large figure walking away from their house and into the woods. Time and conditions, nine at night, extremely dark. Environment, thick pine woods. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator W. Gibson. I interviewed both the submitter of this report and his mother on two occasions. I found their accounts to be consistent and believable. There were two sightings and the following can be added to the report. The first sighting was in 2011 at noon with the mom and son both witnessing the creature from their car. This route is driven by both witnesses daily. The hair was dark brown, long, shaggy, and matted. The legs and hips were extremely thick and full of muscles. The height was estimated at 7 feet and weight at 350 pounds with no fat noted. It crossed the road and into the woods in about 3 seconds. It moved very fast, running left to right on two legs. It used its arms and hands to shield its face as it sprinted into the thick undergrowth and branches. They were driving at 30 miles per hour when she hit the brakes. The biped was about 15 feet from the bumper by the time she stopped. The second sighting was in April of 2014 at 9 p.m. and happened within a few feet of the first sighting. The son was alone and driving home during the second sighting. The creature was dark in color and about the same size as the one seen in 2011 with a thick back noted. The creature dropped down low and ran away into the woods on the left side of the road when the high beams hit it. The two witnesses went to the location of the two sightings the following day, found and photographed some possible formations made from small twisted branches and broken branches on the ground. We have reviewed the photos. Not enough detail is seen to determine whether or not they were made with hands or if the branches broke and the sticks fell that way naturally. In August of 2014 at 2 a.m., the son's friend drove up to his house and a biped could be seen walking inside a wood line behind the house. It stepped behind a tree when the high beams were turned on. Eyeshine was then seen peeking out to the left, then right side of the tree, back and forth for about 20 minutes before the eyeshine disappeared. The eyes were determined to be about 8 feet off the ground after inspecting the area with his friend the next day. This happened about half a mile from the other two sightings. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.